In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Luke Kennard and his basketball shooting form. He is currently one of the top shooters in the NBA, and he's been hitting a ton of deep range shots. So let's get down. Let's check him out. Okay, so first off, I really want to say I like his wide base. That is super important in my eyes. A lot of coaches will say that they want to have your feet at shoulder width apart. He's kind of slightly wider, and that's going to give him a nice strong base if he gets hit when he's in the air. You obviously want to have a strong base to be able to give yourself the most amount of balance going up into your shot. You don't want to be super wide. The wider you get, the slower your shot is. He also, when he goes down into his shot, he doesn't go super low either. He has roughly a 45 degree angle on his, on his hips and he has roughly a 45 on his knees, maybe a bit wider, maybe like a 130 technically speaking if you were to go from this angle here. And that is going to give him a faster shooting form, especially with that wider base that kind of offsets that. He also has very good energy transfer. He brings that ball up at the same time as he's straightening his knees and hips. We can also see that he doesn't exactly have a huge dip either. He brings that ball down to his waist. When he's lifting it up into his set point, we then can see that he does not have a two motion shot. He doesn't freeze for more than a frame at his set point. He also releases with his middle and pointer finger. He also has a soft release as well, which will give him more arc. The one thing that really does surprise me is the amount of spin he gets on that ball for having a soft release. Now when we actually look at the side angle we can see that of course he's looking at the rim. You want to be able to look at that rim when you're taking that shot. He also has a set point that is roughly in front of his left eye if not just right to the left of his left eye. We can see that he is what some people would consider potentially a chest shooter because he's shooting from beside his head and that is actually something that coaches these days will call a chest shot however I remember when I was a kid this is how a lot of the shooting coaches used to teach us how to shoot having close to a 90 on your elbow at close to 90 on your shoulder and having that ball over top almost of that shoulder or upper arm by having your wrist at a 90 degrees they would call this a 90 90 90 Michael Jordan had this and a lot of the shooting shooting coaches would try to shoot or at least teach you to shoot like this. They would teach you also how to have a hard release to get more backspin but definitely a soft release will give you more arc and if you're getting the amount of backspin that Luke Kennard gets then you are going to be all set. Going back to the whole energy transfer we can see that he's able to transfer the power from his calves and Achilles as well as his lower back into his shot because they're all extending at the exact same time. He's actually actually leaving the ground while that ball is still going up into his release. Now this is important. A lot of players will have inconsistencies if they're still on the ground and they're releasing that ball. And you'll see that with sometimes shorter players. So this is something that I always say to record how you shoot because then you can really understand why you may be missing or making your shots. Keep in mind that Luke Kennard has his shoulders also in line with his knees, but those knees are not in line with his toes. This means that most likely he's going to be jumping more forward into his shot, and that's what we do see. His whole body does move forward in his shot. This could be the reason why he did not do so well in the NBA three-point competition. It's because he doesn't have his legs going forward and his shoulders going back. And this can actually add to the amount of time where it takes to land and shoot again. When he releases the ball, his elbow is also above or at his forehead, which will give him a higher arc as well. You want to have as high of arc as possible, and having your elbow at forward, forehead or higher height will help you do so. While his right knee does tend to point in, he does have every other part of his body facing the same direction. Now he is a squared up shooter. Not all players can do this. To be a squared up shooter, you have to make sure that your shoulder and elbow are in line with the rim and that ball is over top of some point of your upper arm. If this elbow 
or this ball is out of line, you're going to miss more shots than you make, or you're going to do that anyways, but you're going to be having a lower shooting percentage. You have to make sure that your body is lined up so that you get what I call the shooting triangle in line with the rim. You have to have everything here in line, and your body has to allow that to happen. Not all players can be squared up to the basket. And we can really see from this angle how he's able to get at least half of that ball over his upper arm and how he's able to get that shoulder and elbow in line with the rim. I'm going to tell you a little bit of a tip right here that, of course, Luke Kennard does use, and that is when he is about to go up for that shot, he's already looking at the rim before he even gathers that ball. When he gathers that ball, he's still looking at that rim, and one thing that I really do like, and it's something that will allow you to have a faster shot, is when he's dribbling into his shot with his right hand, he brings his shooting arm down, and gathers that ball and puts it right into his gather right there so that he does not have a dip when he's coming off of the dribble. A lot of players will bring the ball to the pier and then dip to be able to shoot. Now a dip can help you get your shot in line but if you can use your right hand and basically just place it into your shooting hand as we see here to go straight up into your shot, that's going to allow you to have a much faster shot off the dribble. I hope that this video helps you shoot the basketball better. If it does, hit that like button, subscribe, make sure to check out the link down below that will allow me to analyze your shot and give you some drills and skills and tips as to how to improve your shot. I'll see you guys in my next video.